TJ, what are we doing? We are flying to San Francisco to go to the Wiley X Captivate, which is the new lens that they're releasing. Really stoked. We're gonna go on a bike ride, an electric bike ride, where we have some amazing dinners lined up, and then where we're going, we're gonna go 49ers. Yeah, yeah, yeah buddy. I'm super stoked. Chris go. is stoked. It's gonna be a good time. Go Niners! Yeah. We made it. Thank goodness. Chris and I held hands the entire flight because he knows I get a little scared. When we got here, I quickly changed my change my shorts and we're all good to go. We're gonna go have fun with Wiley X. Let's do it. Sone B. Could it be because you, you, you're very familiar with this because you're kind of from this area? A big sign. We're gonna edit this part out. Tonight we are going to a place called Urban Tavern, but first we're going to go to the Sir Francis Drake Hotel. Uh, we're gonna set down our stuff, then we're gonna go uh, meet at the tavern for uh, some cocktails, and then we're gonna have an awesome dinner. This is gonna be really, really cool. Drake Hotel. I wear my sunglasses inside. What is that? I might have kissed the bowl. I might have kissed the bowl. Sad trees. On our way to on our way to Wiley. It's a little, a little overcast, a little foggy this morning. Hopefully our spirits will part the clouds and Share some good memories. What do you guys say? Feel pretty good about it? I am. Come on! Drop my glasses! <laughs> How cool do I look in these? Hey Chris. Oh, hey. Come on in a while, X man. Wiley X got started in 1987. Uh, we were founded by my father, who proudly served uh, in the military. That's what makes us unique as well. Is I think we've made safety cool. We're going to take another leap forward, I think, as a brand. And um, honestly, I think the sky's the limit. What's up, guys? We're here at Wiley X. We got Dan head of operations, product development, marketing, and uh, we're here for the Captivate Lens event, and it's been a really good time. Dan, thank you so much for having us out. You're welcome. We really no, appreciate I'm glad it. you guys actually made it out. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah, Beautiful it's, weekend, too. Yeah, gorgeous weekend there. outside. We're about to Amazing. go on a, on a really cool electric bike ride. Um, tell us a little bit about Captivate. Yeah, Captivate, uh, I know we're not the first to market to uh, develop a kind of a color enhancing lens, but we feel like we've uh, done it the right way. Um, it's the only product that obviously uh, enhances color, but we also block three bandwidths or uh, wavelengths basically. Uh, the merging of colors between uh, blue and green and green and red. So we're, we're blocking out the confusing light between those colors, which will greatly enhance color because you're catching more of the true color. We're also blocking 400 to 430, which is harmful uh, HEV blue light which is uh, damaging to the eyes in the first place, but it's also uh, uh, the glare that's captured in the moisture in the air, basically. So some of it reaches the eyes, some of the blue light doesn't reach the eye, so it uh, causes um, glare and haze, basically, in your vision. So blocking those out, those three bandwidths out, uh, provides a much better visual experience. Um, and it's the only company that actually uh, certifies their products to um, uh, independent optical standards. We back our claims through independent third-party testing. So no fluff. No fluff. Speaking no. speaking of blocking, I, I assume it still has the uh, impact. 
protection yep, that we've known to love and expect yeah, from Wilex. That's kind of uh, our foundation, uh, protecting military, law enforcement, uh, something that's very important to us. Yeah. Um, and we want to make sure that we carry it throughout our entire line. Yeah, and, spe and speaking of that, you were telling me, you know, you know, a couple stories about some some of those impacts and uh, yeah, you know, saved a few lives. Yeah, I had a, uh, it, it was strange, we were just talking about this earlier today, but um, we received three emails um, this week on kind of catastrophic ac accidents where our product um, saved their eyes or saved their lives. So we plan on capturing uh, those videos from our customers. We feel like we're not doing a great job of really explaining how Wiley X is different than the competition. So we want to have those experiences on film so our consumer can see why and how Wiley X is different from the competition. The so proof. I think it's me. Yeah, the proof. It's yeah. going to be, I think, impactful, and it's really going to speak to people that most injuries are happening, um, you know, accidentally when you're not when you're least expecting it, basically. Exactly so right. uh, we want people to understand that our product looks good, it performs great, but it's also safe. And it's going to protect you if you do have an accident. So it's yeah. important to us. Yeah, I was also telling Dan that. You guys actually saved my eye. I was doing That's a little right. bit. Of, I was doing a little <laughs> bit of word work on a circular saw. Caught a little piece of metal, came up, and boom. Yeah. Otherwise, you'd be seeing me uh, looking like a pirate right With now. So, yeah. so thank yeah. you for that, Dan. Of course. Really, really yeah. appreciate it, man. Uh, and uh, we're gonna go on a bike ride pretty soon. But let's go check out the lab first. Awesome. Thanks, right? nice, guys. Yeah, dude. Appreciate it. Awesome. Whoa, this is captivating. Check out that design. That is so cool. It's like a rimless, but it's still got the gasket. Yeah. Ventilation, get that airflow moving. And I've actually used them. That's cool. That's cool, yeah. Chris, please keep keep the compliments coming. Am I ready for the catwalk? Oh, yeah. Oh, they have like eight people. All right, we're headed into the Wiley X lab right now. It's crazy. shoot some stuff, blow some stuff up. We don't build every single piece of eyewear here, but we do actually manufacture some styles here. And those styles are the stuff that we send to the US military. So we've got absolute control over the product from the minute it hits our door to the minute it leaves our, our dock. Uh, it's a really simple operation. It just has a lot of moving parts. You got your chain loader here that you're gonna set your lenses on. It's gonna feed into the machine. The suction cups pick the lens up. They bring it over to the right side here, and this is our add-on unit to each machine. It's the marking, marking unit. So it laser marks the product dependent on what standard you're testing for. Each standard says the product has to be marked a certain way. This is where we mark it. Once it's marked, it comes over into the cut chamber. It gets set on the mounts that are in there, and then it cuts on an XY axis, and the uh, mount is spinning while it's cutting. Then it pops out onto the conveyor belt and you've got yourself a lens you can install into a frame. All right, so right here is an ultraviolet conditioning chamber. Um, the best way to explain this is you have your glasses, you're in the backyard, you're mowing the lawn, you get an emergency, you gotta, you know, you happen to set your glasses down because you're on the phone, you're talking, you gotta take off, you can't get back until after the weekend. Your glasses are sitting out there for 50 hours straight and, you know, 103 degree temperature with pure, pure UV rays hitting it the entire time. That's exactly what this is replicating. Gonna go through the back side. Obviously your lens is ruined. Again, we sell replacement lenses if anybody needs them. Um, but that's exactly what you want right there. So that would be a pass. In order to pass this test, you would then do your temple, you do a front frame. If you had a gasket for the EN standard, you would also do the gasket. Um, if you had a nose piece for our military product, you would also burn the nose piece. Um, so pretty much every material that would make up your uh, complete device, you would test on here. We have our ANSI barrel, which is gonna shoot two different projectiles. We're gonna do a 90 degree shot. The anti ball is going to travel from 150 to 160 feet per second. So that hit, hit at 155, which is right smack dab in the middle of what you want. If you look, you can see that it just grazed off of the lens there. And that is by design. We design our frames around the standards that we adhere to. We're doing this for 30 years, as Wiley X has. Um, we've got it down to such a good science that we just design things, bring it in, validate it, and it hits the market, and it usually succeeds pretty well. So uh, we're gonna shoot a 15 caliber projectile, which is similar to the 22 you guys looked at, just slightly smaller. Um, it actually has a skirted back on it as well, just for stability. It's just such a light um, projectile at the rate we fire it. Um, it's to prevent any tumbles. I went actually 675 feet, uh, so that's actually higher than 
uh, uh, mil PRF 32432. You can tell obviously your lens is ruined. Um, it did not go through the back of it. What it did is it absorbed the energy, it dispersed it. Um, so you have nothing that is a full penetration. That's exactly what you want. You would then test nine more of those in order to validate that lens variant. Um, so for instance, if we're doing uh, clear smoke light rust, we would actually test 30 of these just to this test, as well as having to go through the ANSI test with fresh samples, as well as having to go through the optical test with fresh samples. Um, every test is done with fresh samples. So you can imagine um, to validate something, uh, it ends up costing a lot in samples of us having to test it, but in the long run, we could guarantee that it's meeting all of these safety standards um, and it just adds more to uh, retail, so. Whew. That was fun. We got to, to destroy some frames, yeah, some yeah. lenses. We should get like a sledgehammer, like, like on our way back to the hotel and just, you know, test some of our own. <laughs> Shown up by a cyclist. I might have the Mario Kart. All right, guys, so here's a little preview to the, uh, the new Wiley X Captivate lens. Now, I have the copper. Now, look at those reds, yellows, and greens in that little field right there. And then watch this. Yeah, baby. Can't see the mirror too good right now. Let's turn into the sun a little bit there. There we go. And so that was the copper. Here's the gray. Ooh, the blue mirror. A little more subtle, but a little crisper definition. Looks awesome. What's that look like on the front? Check that out. Did they hooked us up with a great lunch. Check this out. Are you kidding? I mean, Chris can't figure his out though because it's it's childproof. <laughs> I, was, I was reading labels. Like, huh. Got out of the moment there for a second. I don't know if you guys know this, but I know a lot about wine. I'm a connoisseur. Yeah, this, this is. So what are the hints of the hint of? This is a red. <laughs> Danny, where are we going, man? Going to the Niners game. Woo-hoo-hoo! I can tell you, with these Wiley X lenses, the reds are really popping. I think this will do. Thank you, Wiley X. Mm, yeah. Oh! Man, this is pretty freaking awesome. Alright guys, just finished up the Niners game. Big thanks to Wiley X. Thank you so much for an amazing weekend. Took us on a tour through the lab, showed us how they make their amazing safety products. Everything is ANSI rated for impact and shadow resistance. They're really on their game guys, so you should check them out. We're gonna stay in touch with them, we're gonna stay in touch with you guys, and we're gonna have a great weekend. Thank you so much Wiley X, thank you Dan, thank you Leslie, and thank you Chris. Yeah. Camera. <laughs> we'll yeah. see you guys next time. Go Niners. Go Niners. Woo.